What's up guys, Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Server 2012 in VirtualBox. Sorry for not uh, uploading videos frequently, um, school's been getting in the way, and I haven't been able to upload any videos in uh, the time being, so um, I haven't been able to find very many other operating system for you guys. You guys have requested Windows Me and I've been trying as hard as I can to try and get it to work but I just haven't gotten it yet so um, I'm just doing a server video just to be curious on maybe if any of you want to try and create your own Windows server at all. Um, so let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. So first thing first, uh, if you do not have VirtualBox you need to go ahead and get that. Um, you could use VMware, but you don't have to. You, VirtualBox I usually just prefer because it's free for sure. But and once you get VirtualBox, or if you already have it, you need to get the Windows two, Windows Server 2012 ISO file, in which you can download from the Microsoft website. And you can actually download the Windows Server 2016 technical preview if you would like. I can do the video on that for you as well. You can do Windows Server 2012 R2. You can do Windows Server 2012, in which that's the version I have. I have not gotten the R2 version. I just realized I did not have it. So it's literally going to be the exact same process for either of these. So you pretty much just go to the link in the description and I will uh, and you just pretty much follow the step-by-step -step instructions, but you do have to have a Microsoft account to uh, do this. So you will have to register to get a Microsoft account if you do not have that already. Otherwise, all you have to do is just follow the step-by-step -step instructions, and then it will give you... Um, the, really, the only thing you got to know is just do ISO, and then when you're... They do like a description video. They do like a description for asking for your name and stuff. Um, and they ask you like what kind of job you have or whatever um you can really just i think you can pretty much just make it up but you can put your actual occupation if you want All, and then after that you just follow the step by step instructions and you will eventually get a download for the ISO you can do a v virtual hard drive if you want but that's just kind of the easy way just to do an ISO just so you have it so once you get that downloaded you want to go to VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine I'm just going to call it Windows Server 2012 and there should be an option here there we go Windows 2012 is what you would select and hit next and then you can mess with the RAM if you want I'm just going to leave it at 2 gigs hit next and then we're going to create a virtual hard drive it's 25 gigs that's the recommended size so then after that you're going to want to hit settings you can do that here or here and then hit storage and then hit this empty little disk and then hit this disk right over here and then choose a virtual CD DVD file and you want to locate to where your uh, ISO is mine is right here you want to go ahead and hit OK after you do that and hit start my uh, ISO is 3.44 gigs it'll get you to this loading file screen so basically a lot of businesses use kind of servers like this so like if you just want to test it out pretty much it's a hundred day a uh, eighty day uh, evaluation trial but really it, I think it lasts longer than that but uh, you can use it kind of create to create your own kind of server so like if you do that in your home network and you want to have like a guest network there is ways that you can create a server so that they do not have access to all your like files and stuff like your pictures and videos and all that good stuff like if you have an external hard drive connected to your network I believe there is a way that you can disable it so that the guest network does not uh, have access to that stuff so once uh, this screen gets loaded up here, you just want to select your language, time and currency format, and also the keyboard or input method, and then hit next, and then hit install now. And it will say setup is starting at the bottom here. 
it will take a little bit to load. It's pretty much just normal installation. And when you get to this screen, you can do either standard or data center evaluation. But what you want to do is, I made this mistake once, hit do GUI, obviously, because really all the server core is is pretty much just a command prompt and Windows PowerShell. That's all you get. You don't get a graphical user interface. You don't get any of that stuff. So you want to hit one of these. So I'm just going to do is the standard evaluation with a GUI. Then hit next. I mean, you could do a server core if you want, but you're going to accept the license terms and hit next. You're going to do a custom Windows installation and make sure to select your drive if it's not already and then hit next. And then you're just going to be going through the normal kind of Windows installation that they kind of do here. So I'm going to um, let this sit and wait until this is finished and I will be back with you guys once we hit our first restart point. Okay, so we have hit our first restart point. So you're going to want to hit restart now or you can let the bar go if you would like. And if it says this, do not press any key because you'll just keep going in a constant, constant loop. And you don't want that to happen or otherwise you won't get anywhere. You won't get it installed or anything. But you'll get the normal, this is the normal kind of Windows 8, Windows 10 uh, boot up screen. But uh, let me know in the comments on how you like Windows 10 so far. Um, I mean, it really it wasn't, to me, I haven't seen a significant change yet. But, um, I just, I guess, I really haven't tweaked around with it or messed, messed with it at all. But, um, um, I'm also thinking, like, if I ever get any new products, like any kind of technology products, if you guys want me to do, like, any unboxings or reviews, anything like that, just let me know in the comments, and the next time I get something, I can do one of those for you guys obviously, but, um, I guess really in Windows 10, I have not used Cortana that much, and, uh, I mean, really, it hasn't been much of a difference, looks like it's going to restart again, I'm going to eject, well, yeah, I'm going to eject the disk, just so I don't have to get that little press any key screen, but I really don't, see, I, it really hasn't changed much for me, I've adapted to it quite well, actually, but, uh, I haven't used Edge a lot, actually, even though I thought I would. And, uh, but really any changes ever, ever so far since my last video is that um, I got a new 24-inch monitor, but it's not for my computer. It's for pretty much a TV because it has an HDMI port on it, and I use the uh, Amazon Fire TV with it. Um... If you ever want, like, a maybe maybe even a room tour or a setup, kind of, not really setup, but kind of setup tour as well, but um, if you ever want that, we can do that as well. Okay, so once it gets to the, through the restarts, you will get to this screen. Um, you cannot create a username yet. It already, you have to create an administrator account first, obviously, for server reasons. You have to have an administrator account, and then you're going to have to put a password on it, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. And then you hit finish. It's finalizing your settings, so really it's just that quick. You really don't have to do much. But um, then this may take some time. But as I was saying about Windows 10, pretty much just haven't really, haven't really used much of the new features. I haven't used Edge much, Cortana, haven't used it. Um, the Xbox app I used for a while, but then I kind of backed down from that because I'm really waiting for that November update to come out so I can get the, uh, play my 360 games on my Xbox One. But, but I got a new 24 inch monitor as I said. Um, my computer monitor setup is still the same. I have two 20-inch monitors there, HD, but not full HD screens. 
They're both HP monitors, so they're nice. They look pretty much right by each other. They look pretty nice, but they're kind of at angles. But otherwise, not much has really changed. I haven't done anything to my computer. I haven't done anything really at all. So this finalizing settings has taken a little longer than I expected, but and after that you'll get to the login screen. So you're going to have to do a control alt delete in the machine. So you're going to want to hit I believe it, yeah, machine and then insert control alt delete. Then you're going to want to enter in that password that you typed in earlier for the administrator account and it's going to log you in. to your little yep so really this just looks like Windows 8 I'm just gonna lay that right there it really looks like Windows 8 now whether the R2 version looks like 8.1 with like a start button or everything I don't know I haven't really messed with that so you should have internet access your server manager will start up and it'll give you a little tutorial on how to set up your server um, I could possibly do a video on how to set up a server, but I haven't done, I have not messed with Windows Server in a while, so, um, I don't even think, is there even a browser on this? Yes, there is, there is Internet Explorer, I was going to say, but you should be able to have Internet Access, because I do, right here, it says Internet Access, and it will say that you have a, um, it will say that you have a, wired connection, like I have a wireless connection on my actual computer that I have wired, but I believe if you try going to Google it should work. Yep, there you go. So there is my video tutorial on how to install Windows Server 2012 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe if you want more videos like this video if you thought it helped you out at all and comment below if you have any suggestions or um, anything like that um, I can I do have social media I guess if you wanna I really don't use it that much but I'll eventually put it in the descriptions of my videos but um, as for now that is the tutorial thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video